Hi, and welcome to Two Tired Teachers. We are coming at you from Center Lake Campground in Custer State Park in South Dakota. And just so you know, we're actually going to have a series of four videos about Custer State Park and things to do in the area. And that's more of a general overview. This is specifically about Center Lake yes. Campground because this campground is a little bit unique for Custer State Park. And that's because it is same day reservation. Yes. And what we did was we knew it was same day and we'd heard several people say, I don't know if you'll get in. Well, we got up at six and Sharon called. There is an 800 number and so we got up at six o'clock to call. And before we did that, um, I had looked at the map for uh, this campground and chosen about six different sites that I thought would work well for us. And not all sites are complete created equal, as you're going to see through this video, is some of these sites are tent only. Some of them will accommodate small RVs, some of them will accommodate a little bit larger RVs. And so when we called, the morning we called, and we called at 6 a.m. and this was mid-September, there for the campground, there were eight RV sites yes. available. And by the time... And the guy who answered was not here at Center Camp. I don't know where he was. It's a, it's a reservation center. But this is a great campground, but if we're just saying that if you have a larger RV, you'll see there are some larger RVs, but you have to be very specific about what site you get. So the process is for this campground, you call the day you plan to arrive and you have to occupy the campsite that day. By 10 o'clock at night. And if not, you forfeit your campsite and it goes back up for grabs the next day and you lose that reservation. Um, this campground is $19 per night. And that, and is, that sounds great, but, and it's not expensive. But that's with no hookups whatsoever. There are vault toilets, there are showers. Um, but the reason and there's water in the camp in the ca in the campsite in the campgrounds there water there's water. I we have a couple of one gallon water yes. jugs. Um, I've actually since we've been here filled them five times just to supplement uh, our fresh water tank. But the reason you want to stay here is because of its proximity <laughs> to Iron Mountain Road, Needles Highway, and the Wildlife Loop, and Mount Rushmore. And so there is a dump station within Custer State Park, and so we've also taken advantage of that. Something we want to mention is I want to show you the way we came from Mount, from Rapid City because these scenic drives that we've mentioned, Iron Mountain Road and Needles Highway, have very low, very narrow tunnels, underpasses, etc. One of them we had to fold the mirrors in on yes. the van because it's only eight feet wide. So you want to be sure that you don't come that way. Even though our V is only seven feet wide, I'm not sure. I don't think we could have made it on the height. No, no, and no, no. It's no. a small one. If you've got a fifth wheel, don't try it. And so we're going to show you some pictures there of, of the maps that we used to decide the route that we came. And we chose a little bit more indirect route, yes. but it got us here coming down, I believe it was 79 yes. to Highway 36. Yes. We came into the park, emptied our tanks because we've been doing some dispersed camping, and then came back and up. filled the fresh water. There is fresh water. water. Yeah, right there. Then came back up to 16A and across. Now, I want to warn you, as you turn on this Playhouse <laughs> yes. Road, it tells you there are the narrow uh, tunnels that they're short and narrow. But Center Lake Campground is before you're actually heading toward Iron Mountain Highway. The campground is before you get to those. And so 
Um, I could see that on the map, but it's kind of one of those yes. things until you actually uh, get yes. here. <laughs> and Sharon had watched many videos, and nobody had ever said, by the way. Specifically how to get to this campground. Um, but if you're coming to this area, you know, it is a gorgeous area, and it, okay, it is, like we said, we talked, we were starting about the price. So you think, <laughs> we're staying six nights. So you say... 19 times 6, that's $114 for six nights. No. <laughs> because, let me show you here, our grand total that we paid for the reservation was $130. And the reason for that was because we have um, a reservation fee, we have a non-refundable non-resident fee, <laughs> we have uh, sales tax, we have tourism tax, and all of those things were added on, and so that made and it 130 54 Then when we got here, <laughs> there is a $20 like a Custer State use, Park fee, yes. usage fee. So if you're coming to Custer State Park, and we'll say this again Whether in that video. Whether you're camping or not, if you just want to drive on those beautiful scenic loops, you still need to pay the $20, and that's good for a week. That is one week. It's, I believe, $36 for a year, and some people just told me that's from May to May. Um, but we decided there's so much to see and do in this area. Uh, we would spend the six nights and since we're at Center Lake we saw thought if we have the time and we are we do have the time and we're here we would just take one day to fish yes. and so that does require a South Dakota fishing license and we won't go into all of that but if you're interested it's twenty dollars for one day and it's cheaper to do three one day fishing license than it is to do one three day so yes <laughs> if you are interested the rules have changed since the stuff that's been printed, um, but it actually works out that way. But um, this is a gorgeous campground, and the day that we filmed the campsites, um, it, it's fairly typical. It thins out mid-morning. Yes. And honestly, some of these don't people don't get here until after dark. Yes. Uh, but whenever I get up and walk Theo first thing in the morning all but one or two sites are full and we are in the upper loop we are in site 58 and it's a good one it is a good one the only thing is you have to come in the wrong way yeah, yes <laughs> uh, this is a one-way loop we got here mid-afternoon uh, I tried coming in the right way and it was just there's a tree in the way and so uh, it I tried it didn't work so I came in the wrong way and it worked fine but there are a couple of sites like that so anyway we are having a great time here but like we said the exact way to get here how much it was going to cost those were some things that as we'd done research for this campground weren't clear there are nine campgrounds in custer state park so that's why we're going to do a separate video about the whole thing uh but if you don't know for sure when you're going to be here, this is the campground yes. for you. Uh, we weren't sure what days we would get here, and we ended up getting here at a really different time than we planned because we extended a stay in Nebraska. Uh, we stayed a few nights out uh, doing some just dispersed camping at Wall. So we have a whole playlist about this trip, um, and specifically about Custer State Park. We're going to be doing the Center Lake, the overall overview of Custer State Park. We're going to do a separate video about those three scenic drives because they are amazing and spectacular. And because we are just 15, actually 16 miles from Mount Rushmore, we're going to go on and include that in the Custer State Park uh, series. So, and, oh, and one more word. If you have a chance to come during the fall, I highly recommend it. Yeah, that. this... <laughs> If you've watched many of our videos, you know we are from Texas. So, Fall is my favorite season, but it's kind of iffy when it's going to be. It's going to be like late October through November-ish. We're here mid-September, and it's gorgeous. The colors are phenomenal. <laughs> it is absolutely gorgeous. And getting out and taking these drives at different times of the day 
it's just amazing and uh, bison roundup is coming up soon we are not going to be here for it but they've already started kind of hurting them in one area so man we saw a lot of bison <laughs> but anyway those are those are some things that uh, we wanted you to know about Center Lake Campground and it is beautiful we're enjoying our stay here we just wanted to uh, share what we've learned as we have been here we hope you've enjoyed our look at Center Lake Campground. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching, watching Two Tired, Tired Teachers. teachers.